Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we'll look at dynamics and dynamics processing effects inside Adobe Audition. If you're really enjoying these videos, you could do me a favor by hitting thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so, subscribe to this channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio production tutorial. Here I am in Adobe Audition working with some audio, probably needs a little bit of compression. And that's really what Dynamics does. Really, I mean, they could have called it a compressor, but they called it Dynamics instead in Adobe Audition. Uh, there are two different effects, and you'll see here in Amplitude and Compression, there's Dynamics and Dynamics Processing. Let's get into that. Before I do, let's just play you a little sample of the audio we're going to work with. Mic choice is usually the most important. Okay, so we've got this audio. You can see there's a bit of dynamic range that could be easily compressed to make the volume a consistent level. And in the past, I really used to use the dynamics processing quite a bit. Uh, that was my favorite. And the reason is dynamics was introduced as an effect at a later date into Adobe Audition. Now I just use dynamics all the time. So dynamics processing, in order to set up a good compressor here, you just bump up a little knee here and you get a, a compression ratio of two to one there with a threshold of minus 26. That's quite a nice bit of compression. My choice is usually the most important. Um, and you can see if I switch on the preview mode there, it's really bumped up that audio uh, probably a little bit too much. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down to six. So immediately with dynamics processing here, we have created something absolutely amazing. But not only that, you can add a noise gate in the dynamics processing effect by simply pulling down this dot here and then pulling it up for your threshold on your noise gate. So if I put it right up there, it's going to gate out a lot of stuff. Mic choice is usually the most important. And that's probably too much. So you need to pull it all the way back until you get a reasonable noise gate. Mic choice is usually the most important. Still clipping a bit there. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down to signal. Still clipping a bit. So we'll probably need to pull it back a bit more. If it's too harsh, you can spline curves and make it more of a smooth compression. Mic choice is usually the most important. And you'll find that sounds a lot better, a lot less harsh, a lot less clippy on the audio. So you've got all of that with dynamics processing. But now I use dynamics all the time. So let's get rid of this one. I know they're similarly named, which makes it complicated. Before I do, before I go on to dynamics, I just wanted to show you a real benefit of dynamics processing in Audition. And I'm going to go into the multi-track to prove this. Let's call this Dynamics. And we'll go ahead and bring in uh, a music bed, something like this, and place it onto track two. And then we'll bring in that piece of audio of our speaker there. Let's play this all back now. Mic choice is usually the most important. Now you can hear that the music is overpowering our speaker at the moment, but not for long if I put Dynamics Processing onto the music track. Let's do that. Amplitude and Compression Dynamics Processing. Let's go back to default. Let's switch on sidechain for a mono input here. And then over here on track one, the uh, voiceover track, we simply send the output of that to the sidechain input on track two, which is our music track. And now you'll see. Mic choice is usually the most. And as I start to move this around, it ducks the music for me. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down to signal flow. So you're dealing with the microphone and then into your preamp and your EQ and your mixer and your cables. It's everything. And then it fades the music back up seamlessly. So dynamics processing does have its advantages, especially for side chaining in the multi-track. But let's talk about the dynamics effect, which was kind of a legacy effect from Premiere Pro, still in Premiere Pro, and it's awesome, by the way. And this can do a whole lot more. On the default settings, you've got a noise gate, you've got a compressor, you've got an expander, you've got a limiter. So let's look at this. Noise gate. Let's switch it on. Switch preview mode on, and you'll see immediately it's cutting out in between the words as a noise gate should. Mic choice is usually the most important. Sounding a bit clippy, so push the hold up. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all Sounding good, so compressor on, ratio up a bit. Mic choice is usually the most important. Now we have a uniform sound. I'm going to pull that down a bit, 2.5. Mic choice is... A bit more. Mic choice is... Push the makeup gain Mike up. Choice is this is where we can switch the limiter on and say, don't go any louder than minus three dB in this instance. Mic choice is usually the most. And then we ride the makeup gain up until we hit the red light. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down to signal flow. So you're dealing with. So we can do about 8.7 dB of increase and I can hear it still clipping. So I'm going to pull the gate down a bit. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down to signal flow. So you're dealing with a bit more on that. And we can also use an expander, which will also fade down when there are silent Mike points. Mic choice is usually the most important. Um, you know, it all comes down. Expander not needed at the moment, of course, because we're using a gate. If we didn't have a gate, Mike choice is usually the most important. 
Um, you know, it all comes. Now you see with the ratio increase, the expander is doing its job as well. Expander a little bit softer than noise gate, but generally does the same thing. And that is dynamics and also dynamics processing and where you might use one or the other inside Adobe Audition or Adobe Premiere Pro. Probably in Premiere Pro, you're going to want to stick with the dynamics effect only. It's really, really fantastic. Uh, I hope you enjoy using them. Maybe you can let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Do you prefer dynamics or dynamics processing? And if you want to learn even more about Adobe Audition, and audio editing. My courses are open for enrollment. Would love to have you in there. mrc.fm forward slash learn is the URL. That's mrc.fm forward slash learn. (laughs) 